One of the most pressing issues still unresolved after last year's tsunami in Japan is what to do about the tons of debris washed into the ocean. A Japanese survey team has left for the United States where it hopes to come up with ideas to deal with the flotsam now washing up on the west coast of North America. The nine-member team includes experts and volunteers from the Tokyo-based Japan Environmental Action Network and Environment Ministry staff. During their three-day stay in the state of Oregon, they will visit coastal areas where debris has drifted ashore. They will meet U.S. non-governmental groups to learn what is needed in the cleanup effort. About 1.5 million tons of wreckage is believed to have been washed into the Pacific after the March 11th disaster. We want to use this occasion to share experiences and ideas with the residents living along the coast. We will then decide what is needed before moving on with actual measures. U.S. and Canadian officials are now trying to get rid of debris that is increasingly showing up on beaches. Countries from which such debris is generated are not required by international law to remove the flotsam. However, the Japanese government decided to send the mission because of the assistance offered by the United States and other countries after the tsunami. The Japanese survey team has arrived in the United States to assess the problem of debris from last year's tsunami in northeastern Japan. The nine-member survey team includes environment ministry officials and staff from a Japanese non-governmental organization that deals with issues concerning marine debris. The team visited a beach in Oregon with local officials and members of U.S. NGO groups. Some of the debris that was washed away by the tsunami has started to reach the U.S. West Coast. The disposal of such debris has become a huge issue. The Japanese government intends to help collect the debris. A large floating pier from Aomori Prefecture recently washed ashore in Oregon. The amount of garbage that has drifted ashore has doubled or tripled since the start of this year. It's believed that much of the flotsam came from northeastern Japan. We have uh, fishing buoys, um, dock buoys, and miscellaneous items that have washed ashore over, about, could say, a week or two. The survey team will stay in the U.S. until Tuesday to discuss the level of support that will be needed.